intradermal injection, which is most commonly used for a TB test or tuberculosis test, also known as a PPD. PPD stands for purified protein derivative, okay, and also known as a MAN2 test. As you just saw, I wiped the area clean, and I did it from the middle out. We don't never do it in a circle, always in a spiral, going in increasing circles from the middle out, pushing the dirt out to the outskirts. For any injection, as for anything else, make sure the alcohol dries. It's because the alcohol causes pain, not the actual needle. If you can see this needle at all, you can see that it's tiny. It can't possibly hurt anyone. Okay, now, grab your syringe just like so with these three fingers somewhere, somewhere halfway down the barrel. Okay, now we wait for the alcohol to dry. You can see that the alcohol has dried. Okay, alcohol has to dry by itself. The longer alcohol stays wet, uh, wet the more disinfected the site of injection is. Don't try to wipe it with a gauze. Don't try to blow it with your hand like this. These are all mistakes that people make. Okay, make sure the alcohol dries by itself. The bevel of the syringe is to be facing you. If I lay it down on your <coughs> arm just like this, okay, uh, the bevel is going to be facing up. All injections are done with bevel facing up. Here's the important part of this injection. You take your left hand or non-dominant hand and you stretch the skin. Okay? Then all you have to do is lay the syringe down in the direction of the stretch, just like so. See how flat this is? I'm not going at an angle, I'm not going over my thumb, I'm not doing any such thing. I want to be flat because we're doing an intradermal or into the skin. Place it down just like so and then press it like, like so pushing the skin downwards and all you have to do now is move the syringe forward and stop moving it forward as soon as the shiny part of the bevel has disappeared under the skin not too much pain though is there now to see exactly where you are all you have to do is lift the tip of the skin just like so can you see it there okay I'm lifting the skin right there and then I can see exactly where I am I can see where my tip is and ever so gently I'm going to inject just a little bit now the water is bacteria static so it burns a little bit so my my apologies just like so and so just like this you see the little bubble that formed over there that's all I need to do with a doctor you inject the entire amount as far as the glass is concerned only until the bubble is formed and then I'm going to take the syringe out just like so and without any further delay I'm going to put it into our Sharps container just like this, never put your hands inside, just close it, and you're in good shape. We do not apply any gauze or any band-aids over this, we simply issue instructions to the patient. However, if you do have a little bit of blood right over here, sometimes it's a good idea to take your alcohol wipe that you used and just put the corner of it right there and it's going to, just like this, suck up the blood from there, gently, okay? now. All the stuff that you have used and so on and so forth, you're going to be throwing out, okay? The rules of medicine are such that when in doubt, throw it out. So if you don't know what this is, whether it's been used, unused, even if there's a shadow of the doubt, you're going to throw it out. So I'm going to throw out the syringe and I'm going to use the next one. Now, instructions to the patient. Make sure that after you've completed your TB test, you ask the patient to sit for 15-20 minutes after the injection in the lobby just to make sure they don't have a severe allergic reaction. Also, you will draw a circle around the base of your injection so you know where to find it later on and ask the person not to wash it, smear it, or do anything else with the bubble. The bubble is going to be quite large. And what you don't want it to be is you don't want it to extend you know, past the circle that you drew. Make sense? And you're going to ask them to come back within 48 to 72 hours to make sure you know, that they have a positive or a negative reaction. Does that make sense? Perfect.